Pilot, hey, you know what? If you can, uh, if you're working at home today, you want to work outside if you can. It's going to be really nice out there. We got the sun back. Um, you got temperatures in the 60s to start, but then going into the midday in the afternoon, uh, you know, mid to upper 70s, and it's dry and it's comfortable. Yeah, the only thing I think we got uh, that's uh, negative is the ragweed that's uh, bothering some folks like myself. But it's not too bad for some. But anyway, mid to upper 70s over the next several days. Might even hit 80 by Thursday going up. But then what's off the chart here is the next weekend when I think we're going to really cool down on Sunday. So we'll take a look at that. Humidity levels, you can see, yeah, it's uh, maybe it's comfortable, I'd say, through this time for the next several days. It bumps up to a little bit humid maybe. Once in a while, the dew point goes above 60. But uh, it does go up quite a bit more Thursday, Friday, Saturday before dropping big time uh, late Saturday into Sunday. Now, satellite radar, we have dry conditions right now, mild. We've got uh, coolness out of the northeast with a light northeast breeze. There's not much. Now, uh, one thing that's coming down from the northeast, you know, yesterday we had this haze overhead. It was a very thin haze. It was high in the sky. You know, it wasn't that deep blue anymore. It was kind of a milky white. So today, most of that uh, haziness should be offshore. We'll catch a little bit of it. It won't be too bad, though. But we'll, uh, just you might notice it in the sky that uh, it almost looked like a bunch of cirrus clouds. It shouldn't affect us at the surface. Sur surface should be fine. So uh, right now, uh, Super Doppler 10 is looking good. We've got uh, mostly clear skies, and we're going to have mostly clear skies as we go through the day. Beautiful weather out there. Morning, midday, and in the afternoon. Light northeast breeze, 5 to 10 miles an hour. No problems, uh, at least coming out of the sky. A little bit of tidal flooding, but that won't be a big problem either. Overnight, we'll have uh, clear skies, light winds, and then tomorrow we're going to have lots of sunshine. Beautiful out there. we got... Uh, Gorgeous weather with highs in the 70s and winds will be out of the north and northeast about uh, maybe about 8 to 12 miles an hour, maybe a little stronger. Now that tide is going down, but there's still one more tide we got to contend with that's going to be minor levels. That's a barely minor four and a half feet. That is around noon. And then after that, you know, three, four feet. Yeah, we can handle that. That's no problem. That's maybe a little nuisance tidal flooding in spots. Now today, 76 Virginia Beach, 77 Norfolk, 77 in Portsmouth, 80 in Chesapeake and Elizabeth City. We've got upper 70s in Killable Hills and Franklin, lots of sunshine, mild temperatures. Uh, we've got mid 70s in Melfa and Hampton, 76 in Gloucester, 77 in Port News, and 81 in Williamsburg. So great weather again for today locally. Boating forecast, winds out of the northeast, 10 to 15 knots on the water, seas 5 to 6 feet. There are small craft advisories out there for the ocean. The bay, though, not too bad, 1 to 2 feet. Mouth of the bay, different story. And the bay temperatures come down. 70. It's really been dropping lately, but it is still a little mild for this time of year. It is dropping fast, but it's been so high for so long. Anyway, the very warm water still over the Atlantic, and that's what's allowing Tropical Storm Philippe to hold its own. It is, matter of fact, going to strengthen into a hurricane probably in a few days. It will be east of Bermuda. It will probably send us more waves. We'll have that high threat per rift currents again probably as we get towards the weekend, but uh, we'll update you on that. So here it is. We got temperatures in the 70s next three days, and then 80 on Thursday. We'll be upper 70s, close to 80 on Friday. Uh, a little bit of rain there possible between Friday and Saturday, but not a lot of rain. And then Sunday, I'll take that raindrop off. Uh, that was a, a holdover, but uh, bottom line is 68 and uh, drying out on Sunday. Oh, I like I like that for Sunday. Yeah, drying out. I'm still surprised though to see a high in the 60s already. I know. Yeah, we, uh, it's about that time of year. I think mm. we, because we've had such mild temperatures there for so long. But uh, yeah, normally in October we start getting some 60s for a little bit. Of course, we did just have two days in the 60s. That was a little unusual. Uh, last couple of days in September there with that uh, the cloudy skies in the in the northeast winds. It kept the temps down. And the mist. It was just the mist. cloudy skies the and mist. Constantly. Ugh. Yep. Just annoying. It's like it's not even really watering our plants or anything. It's just there to be a nuisance, I felt like. <laughs> I didn't mind it a couple of days, but it was so long in there yeah. that I th it was time for a break. We needed a big break. Yep. So, it yeah. was good to get sunshine yesterday. Kick us off yep. on the right foot today. We'll take that. Yep. Jeremy, thank you.